In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys the number one free YouTube analytical tool that is gonna help you to perfectly understand where and how people are finding, viewing, and subscribing to your YouTube channel to help you get more views, more subscribers, and more watch time much, much faster. So to access this free tool, you have one of two options, either on your computer or your mobile device. If you're trying to access this on your computer, you wanna go onto the YouTube website, go to your creator studio, into your analytics section, and then the reach tab. If you're trying to access this on a mobile device, you want to download and open up the YouTube studio app on your phone, then go into the analytics section and then over to the discovery tab. Unfortunately, on the mobile app, things are a tad more restricted and less useful than the desktop version, but it still gives you a pretty good idea. So once you are in the reach tab, you wanna go down to the traffic sources type. Now what this does and why it is so useful is this tab basically tells you exactly where and how people are finding your videos and viewing your videos. So if you are trying to rank your videos in search or get them on the recommended page or suggested by YouTube, these analytics and these traffic sources are going to tell you exactly what is working and what is not working to help you get more views and subscribers. So now to make this even more useful, you wanna go down to the see more option and click onto that. What this does is break this down so much further in so much more detail. So on the left hand side, you have each one of the traffic sources ranked by which one is giving you the most views down to the least amount of views. Then on the right side, you have the breakdown of impressions, click-through rate, views, average view duration, and watch time. So impressions basically means how many times somebody has seen your video on the recommended page, in search, the suggested section, or anywhere else on YouTube. The click-through rate then means what percentage of those impressions actually clicked onto your video to watch it. Then the views are obviously how many times somebody has actually viewed your video from the impressions. Then the average view duration basically means on average, how long are people watching your video from this traffic source type? And then the total watch time tells you from each one of these sources how much watch time is coming from where. So why this is so so helpful for you to grow your channel is for you to understand what is already working for you, where can you actually improve, and what needs to change to help you grow much faster. So if your main goals are to rank and search or get on the recommended page, but the browse features and search are much much lower on your traffic sources type list, that means that is something for you to work on if you want to achieve those goals. So that is why the traffic sources type is such an important tool for you to understand understand and learn how to read. So to be able to understand this much, much better, I'm gonna jump into explaining to you each one of these traffic source types, what they mean and how to use them. So let's start off with browse features. If you go ahead and click onto browse features, this is broken down into five main sections. The home slash recommended page, your subscribers subscription feed, the watch later page, the watch history page, and the trending page. So again, in this breakdown, it's gonna show you how many impressions click the rate, views, and watch time have come from each one of these sources. So if your main goal is to get more of your videos on the recommended page or get more clicks in your subscription box, this is gonna help you to better see whether or not the browse features are actually working for you or if that's something you have to work on. So then going back over to the traffic sources, underneath of browse features, you have YouTube search. So if your main goal is SEO and ranking your videos in search, this is gonna help you to much better understand how your search rankings are actually working. Working. So go ahead and click on the YouTube search button and what this does is gives you a much more broken down view of exactly what search terms people are searching on YouTube that actually gets them to come across your video in search. And why this is so so helpful is that if you can see one specific search term that is bringing you a whole lot more views than the other, that's maybe a topic you want to focus on and make more videos around to get more views. And then again, if ranking in search is something you are targeting for your channel to get more search rankings, more SEO and more views, but the YouTube search is much lower on your list of traffic sources, that is going to tell you that not a lot of views are coming from search rankings and that is something for you to work on. So then underneath of YouTube search, you have suggested videos. So essentially what suggested videos are, are when you're watching a video on YouTube, off to the side you have about 20 or so videos suggested to you that YouTube thinks you would most like to watch after this one. If you are seeing views in the suggested traffic source, that is telling you that your videos are appearing in the suggested section of other videos on YouTube and you're getting views that way. 
Now again, if you click on to the suggested videos button, it's going to give you a much more broken down idea of exactly which videos yours are being suggested on. Why this is most benefiting me is that the majority of my videos are being suggested on other ones of my own videos. So when you're watching my videos on YouTube, rather than my videos pushing other people onto other people's videos and away from my channel, my videos are actually recommending more of my videos. That way they're keeping people on my channel for longer, watching my videos longer, and that is something the algorithm actually loves. So by looking through the suggested feed, you get a much better idea of whose videos your videos are being suggested on and getting views from. So then under that, we have channel pages. Now channel pages are probably the most random traffic source on YouTube and the one that gives people the most amount of questions. Because when you hover over the info button beside channel pages, literally all it tells you is that these are views coming from your channel page or other people's channel pages which great fantastic but that doesn't tell me how are people actually getting from their channel to mine not very helpful so I decided to actually reach out to YouTube on Twitter and ask them themselves where they told me almost exactly the same thing which did not help me at all any more than before so I had to do my own research and ask some other people who were more knowledgeable than I was and now I have a perfect understanding of what channel pages actually are and I can make it much easier for you guys to understand. So again, click on to channel pages and get the full breakdown. So as you can see from my own breakdown of channel pages on my channel, a good amount of my own channel pages traffic are coming from my own channel. So what this means is that people are basically going onto my channel and watching videos from my own channel. So they basically come onto my channel, go to my video section and watch my videos from there. However, if you scroll down further, you see a long, long, list of other people's channels, which kind of begs the question, how are people getting from Kelly Stamps' channel onto my channel? So what I learned from this is that when you finish watching a video, at the end of the video, you have something like 10 or 20 videos suggested on the screen. If people are going from those suggested videos onto your videos, that counts as channel pages traffic. So if I'm looking at your own channel pages traffic, you see that you're getting views from this channel or this channel or this channel. What this is basically telling you is that at the end of their videos, those suggested videos videos are getting people from their video onto your video. So if like me, channel pages has ever confused you greatly, this is what channel pages actually means and this is what that kind of traffic means. I cannot even tell you how long that was a mystery to me. So then under that we have other YouTube features. How helpful is that? So again, clicking onto other YouTube features, you get a much more detailed breakdown. So the breakdown of other YouTube features gives you offline, YouTube remote, and YouTube.be, which I had to literally research all of them because I had no clue what any of these mean. So offline basically means that people are saving your videos for offline and then watching them offline outside of Wi-Fi rather than on the actual website. Then under that, the YouTube remote is actually a Google Chrome extension. So what this extension basically allows you to do is that when you're on, let's say, Facebook or Twitter or doing something else on your computer, you can actually get a video from YouTube, put it on an external window on your screen, and watch or listen to whatever you're watching on YouTube on another screen while you do something else. So if you are studying for an exam of some sort, while also listening to some study music on YouTube, you can use the YouTube remote pop-out to actually pop out the screen onto a bottom part of your screen while you do something else on another website. So if if you are getting some traffic from YouTube remote, that is what it means. And then finally under that, the YouTube.be whatever I learned is a shorter version of a YouTube link, which is literally no different from somebody watching your video on YouTube. So that is pretty much it for the other YouTube features and what that means. So then under that we have the most useful of them all, direct or unknown which literally means YouTube has no clue where these views have come from. So in my own direct and unknown section, I have over 10,000 views, which means YouTube has no clue where these 10,000 views even came from. So unfortunately, I cannot help you anymore to figure out where those views came from. So then underneath that, we have external. So external basically means any views that came from anywhere outside of YouTube. So my top external source is Google search, but this could be Google search, other search engines, 
impressions from you sharing your videos on social media, texting your friends or family your video link, or sharing a video in WhatsApp. Literally any other way somebody finds your video outside of YouTube counts towards external traffic. So by clicking on external and getting the full breakdown, it tells you exactly which external sources are getting you views and how many, which tells you exactly which external sources are actually working for you. So if you tend to share a lot of your videos on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, this is going to tell you exactly which ones are working for you and giving you the most amount of views. So then we've got notifications, which is pretty self-explanatory. If your subscribers have notifications turned on for your videos and your channel, these are the views you are getting from them getting their notifications of your videos. So then under external, we have playlist page and playlist. And I honestly have no idea why these are separate because they are literally the exact same thing. So by clicking onto the playlist or playlist page button, it gives you a full on breakdown of which one of your playlists are getting you video views or if you are getting views from other people's playlists. So if somebody else comes across your video and puts your video in their playlist and somebody else watches their playlist and watches your video off their playlist, that counts as playlist views. So by looking at the playlist page or playlist breakdown, you get a much better idea of exactly which playlists are getting you views and which are working for you. So looking at my own playlist breakdown, some of them are coming from my own playlist or other people's playlists that my videos have been added to, which also tells you if you've added playlists to your channel, if they're actually working for you and actually getting you more views. Then we have end screens. So very simply, if you've added end screens to your videos, these are views coming from end screens. And then under that, you have video cards, which very similarly, if you've added video cards to your videos, these are views coming from video cards and tells you exactly which ones. So that you guys is basically it for a full on breakdown of all the traffic sources on YouTube and how to use them. So if you've been getting a whole lot of views on your channel, but have no clue how people are finding your videos or how they're watching your videos, then this is the best possible way to understand that better and use it to your full advantage. So hopefully this was helpful to you, gave you some new things you didn't know before. Let me know down below what was new that you learned in this video because I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!